The first section in the financial math chapter is called Percents and Their Applications. We'll go quickly through this section and just show the basic overview of what it's about. Uh, to begin with, we define what a percentage is, and then we go through a few examples of how to convert either fractions or decimals into percentages, and then converting back from percentages into either, uh, well, into, into decimals. Then, once we get comfortable working with percentages and converting back and forth, uh, just getting used to what percentages are, then we talk about applied percentage problems. And applied percentage problems boil down to relating two numbers with a percentage that connects them. So we relate uh, a number A and a number B with a percentage P. And so you have several examples here of how we do that. And then, of course, we can do examples like sales tax examples uh, that are sort of applied versions of that even. Uh, we're given a situation where we have to solve an applied percentage problem. And then we have discount problems and they do the same thing. Another application is what we call relative change or percentage difference, percentage change. And so we define it here and then do a few examples with a, a change that we express as a percentage. And the reason we do this is that it kind of helps put uh, things on equal footing. It helps um, break down numbers that aren't necessarily on the same uh, basis and gives us a, a way to think of them more precisely. And then uh, there's just more percentage problems getting used to to working with them and applying these ideas. Uh, finally we close it out with a couple of examples where we compare two numbers with percentages and it's similar to uh, the percentage increase or decrease or the percentage change.